two heavyweights go at it like they did, and uh, you get a good product as well. Yeah, I mean, that was a classic game for a fan. You know, it gave me a couple extra great hairs, but, I mean, for a fan, I mean, that's that would be on uh, ESPN Classic, that mm -hmm. game right there. You know, the way it was, I mean, we down five with 57 seconds left, 58 seconds left, whatever it was, come back to push it to overtime and then win it overtime. Um, and also, we was down eight with four minutes left. So, mm -hmm. you know, it, I mean, let's not forget about that. And, you know, guys just kept believing, kept believing, kept believing, and, um, you know, we came up with a W, and, and that's what you need about this time of the season. You know, it doesn't matter how you win. At this point in the season, you guys just keep winning. It helps that you have Derek Jameson on your team, too, and he can go seven to Showed all seven of his makes. I believe maybe one of them might have grazed the rim. That kind of zone that he was in, it's rare to see from anybody. He can shoot, he can shoot it, man. I mean, you know, we, we talk about this all the time. Um, you know, he's one. Of, he's the best shooter in the country, man. You know, it's, I mean, statistically, I think he is the best shooter in the country. Uh, I think he got back to number one spot, I mm -hmm. think. So, um, you know, that's what he does. He really shoots the basketball. You know, and the thing with him, he can shoot it off the bounce. Um, you know, off a spot, and, you know, catch and shoot off a down screen. You know, like a lot of some guys can shoot it well off a catch and shoot. Some guys shoot. It Games. Yeah, they, <laughs> no more. Yeah. They, uh, we looked at, um, I, I'll tell you about Charles and Chuck. He came back, he said, man, I've never seen nobody shoot like that. And Chuck to shoot. So you, so you know that's a, that's coming from a, a good place. Um, North Carolina a and a team right behind us, 9-2 yeah. and two in conference play, a team that's uh, a team that you really can't get a gauge on because you see them, no, nobody average double figures, and they play whichever whichever style that, that they're playing against. If, they, if you like to get up and down the floor, they get up and down the floor. If you slow it down, they slow it down. It's kind of an interesting team, North Carolina A&T. Yeah, I mean, that's similar to us a little bit. Um, except we actually have two double figure scorers, you know, but everybody else, you know, we got guys nine, eight, seven, eight, 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 eight you know, stuff like that. Um, so, you know, it's similar to us in that regard. We just have to price score a little bit more than they do. But, um, you know, it's almost like playing yourself a little bit, you know, and uh, you know, they got some guys who can shoot it. They got some bigs who can do some things. Got, you know, they're, they're well balanced. I think that you know, like we are. So um, I think that's why we're number one, number two at this point in the season. They're one game behind us, and their and their path is is similar to ours down the stretch. Um, they have FAMU left. We, no one is in the top five that either one of us will play besides FAMU coming down the stretch. Uh, this is an important ball game here at home. Uh, not only because AT brings a lot of fans, and this should be a good game for the fans, but Statement-wise, this would be huge for us. I mean, statement-wise, you know, to have a two-game lead with, with four games left, mm -hmm. I mean, that's tremendous. You know, um, if, you know, you know, even if, if, if God forbid, you know, we lose tonight, we're still tied for first, but we have to wait till them. They lose and have to keep winning out. But right now, if we win, we control our own destiny. You know, and I, I have confidence in my team that with four games left, that you know, we're not going to lose three out of the last four. You know, so um, um, you know, we talked about that earlier today. That you know, this is a big, this is a big game for us tonight. Um, very big game. I think leadership is different from us from this year and years past. Mm -hmm. um, a, lot, a lot of those things that you would say, if we, if mm -hmm. we, like we have leaders that will say we won't. And yeah. I know that helps you a lot. Yeah, Butler. I mean, Jordan Butler is you know the, the, the catalyst for that. You know, I mean, he does a lot of things. You know, his toughness sometimes good and bad. You know, but. Um, he's gonna he's gonna make sure that you hear his voice that you know we're not gonna lose. He's one of the main voices in that huddle outside of the coaches the other day said we're not gonna lose this game, we're not gonna lose this game. And he came up with two huge blocks. I mean he's the, you know he's a hard so he's not gonna get you twenty and ten and all like that all the time. Um, you know, he will get you ten and ten. But uh, you know, he's the hardest soul of the team and I'm happy that uh, to have him. Our two biggest comebacks, he was a catalyst yeah, and no on the defensive end and on the boards uh, or, or whatnot. Big game tonight. I know we need to get uh, a couple things uh, in our favor. One of those things, we have to stay on the floor. Uh, our, our guys have to play big. Our guys have to stay on the floor. But uh, we also have to come out with that energy that you also want. What else are some of the keys that you want? I mean, a good start is necessary. I'm telling you, you know, it's, it's, we've, we've come from behind probably about four or five times this year. Mm -hmm. You know, um, and probably four out of five times we won. We, we try to come back from Bethune. We lost at their place. But, uh, uh, you know, I'm tired of coming back from behind, you know. We need to just go out and try to just, you know, from the start to finish and, and really try to dominate. Hey, man, you look you look, you look good as a coach when you uh, play and win from, <laughs> from 20 down, but you look better when you win yeah. 20 up, so I understand. <laughs> uh, big game tonight. We'll talk to you after the ball game, after uh, after the win, hopefully, against North Carolina A&T. The head coach of North Big State, Rob Jones, thank you for your time. We'll be back after this break with the starting lineups and tip-off on the NSU Sports Network.
Hey, we can come on. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Joe Eccles Hall in Norfolk, Virginia, for tonight's MIAC basketball broadcast on Flow Sports featuring the Aggies of North Carolina AT and the Spartans of Norfolk State. Hello, everyone. I'm Ross Gordon, and I'm joined tonight by Wu Bay Gabre as we get set for action tonight. Glad to have you here with us as these are the number one and number two teams in the conference, Norfolk State with a record of 10 and 1 overall. And the Aggies of North Carolina AT with a record of 9 and 2. Should be a good ball game. And I think everyone here is in, is ready for it and set for it as both teams looking to keep their good start going. <laughs> Norfolk State, <laughs> Norfolk State again with a record of 10 and one and trying to keep everything going here tonight against a team that's uh, had some tough ball games here lately, but they've come through them, and that's the Aggies of North Carolina a and both teams in this place uh, because they win tough ball games. Blue Bay, and it's going to be another big one for the Spartans tonight. Oh, absolutely. I mean, Coach Jones spoke about it in the pregame that, you know, this is a big game. You want to control your own destiny the, the rest of the way. You don't have to worry about if you lose, and then you have to hope that they, uh, the a and loses a couple games. You win tonight. You have a two-game lead going into the rest of the season, and you can get that number one seed. As the Spartans are trying to uh, lock up that first round by, I think they pretty much uh, have that opportunity to wrap up their first round by. They have to do it tonight. They can do it at night with a win. But again, the Spartans have a tough test against North Carolina a a team that has a size, that has ability to shoot it, and when they can get going, they're a very tough team, especially in transition. Well, I think I think they match up with Nova State really well. I mean, they can slow it down, they can speed it up, they have size, they have good guard play, and they're well coached, so uh, the rest will be for a good game tonight. Here's the starting lineup, first for the visiting Aggies, coached by Jay Joyner in his third year, assisted by Coach Jones, Coach Dorsett, and Brown. Air dead meet will get the start in the backcourt, averaging six points per game and 1.4 rebounds. Ibrahim Salah will also get the start. He averages nine points per game and 5.7 rebounds. Cam Langley will run the point at six points per game and 3.4 rebounds. Rattle Jackson will also get the start at 7.1 points per game and 3.9 rebounds. And rounding out the starting lineup will be Malik Gantz. Gantz averages 9.1 points per game and three and a half rebounds per game. For the Spartans, they will counter with Mastati Pitt coming off the game-tying field goal in regulation. For the Spartans, he averages 8.3 points per game and 2.2 rebounds. Also in the starting lineup for the Spartans, Nick Thomas, the team's leading scorer, at 14 and a half points per game with 2.8 rebounds. Didn't score that much. Only four points all coming from the free throw line, but he had two big free throws to put the game away late in that contest. Also in the starting lineup for the Spartans, Stephen Whitley. He's at 9.3 points per game and 4.7 rebounds. He leads the team in assists on the year. He's going to have to come up big tonight. Derek Jamerson Jr. at 11.4 points per game and 3.8 rebounds per game has lit it up in conference play. 23 points for the senior from Detroit in his last contest. He's been joined in, a, in the starting lineup with Jordan Butler. Butler at 8.7 points per game and 6.4 rebounds per game. He leads the team in blocks and in rebounds this year. Probably one of the better defensive players in the year. If it wasn't for Pope from Bethune-Cookman, he would probably be the defensive player of the year in the conference. Well, you know, you, talk, you look at A&T's, uh, you know, the scoring, they don't have any double-figure scoring like you talked to Coach Jones about, and that, that concerns you because they're balanced, and anybody can step up at any night. Is it basketball? Well, actually, a and will wear their road blue, blue jerseys with gold trim. Norfolk State with their home white jerseys with green and gold trim. And they'll be moving from left to right on your radio dial. It'll be Jordan Butler and Salah to jump it up. As the tip is won by a and And the Aggies will set up the offense. Gantz gets it off to Langley, who will set up the offense. Ed Mead, board for shooter, as the ball is swung left side to Gantz. Gantz looked inside for Salah. He throws it out of bounds. 
Early turnover for the Aggies. Again, we welcome those watching on Flow Hoops today as the Spartans have the basketball facing full court pressure. Jamerson gets the ball into the front court to Whitley. Whitley to Pitt. Pitt guarded by Ed Mead. Gets it off to Whitley left wing. Whitley explodes to the basket. Gets into lane with the right hand. Lays it off the glass and good. Whitley got a clean lane. Goes in for the right hand layup. Langley with the basketball as the Spartans apply full court pressure. Langley into the front court. Swings it right wing back to Ed Mead. He fires a three up and no good. Whitley comes down with the board for the Spartans as he fights off Butler. Whitley quickly into the front court. Goes with the left hand this time. Puts it up off the glass. Short rebound. Tapped into the hands of Sala. Quickly off to Gantz. Gantz into the front court. Lays it off with the left hand. He's good. Good move by Gantz going to the hole. As you see, uh, Whitley is in attack mode in the first half right now. Going straight to the cup. Butler has it. Steps in. Gets it back to Whitley. Whitley. Off to Pitt as we're tied at two with 18.50 left to go here in the first half. With the basketball, here's Pitt. Gets it off to Butler. Butler thought about the jumper. Kicks it off to Thomas. Thomas on the drive. Into Lane with the right hand. Gets his shot blocked. Rebound tracked down by Langley. Langley into the front court. Gets it back to Gantz. Gantz kicks it off to Jan Slamming the ball home for the Aggies. Was Ronald Jackson in the Aggies lead now. Four to two. Good play. Good by the Aggies going down the court and get a nice uh, dunk on that, uh, on that last possession. As a &T now will move into a zone as Whitley hands it off to Pitt. And Pitt gets it off to Thomas. Thomas to Whitley. 11 on the shot clock. Now 10 as Pitt splits the double. Gets into lane. Kicks it out to Jameson. Jameson on the drive. And he's going to get called for an offensive foul. Uh, that's good defense by Gantz. He's going to call an offensive foul. Jameson pushing off with, that, with his offhand. That's going to be the first team foul against either team as the Spartans with 18.05 left. Trail the Aggies 4-2. Ronald Jackson with the slam and also Gantz with the layup. Both points have come in the paint for the Aggies. As Gantz has it again, steps in, kicks it back to Langley, and Langley will set the offense. He rolls right side, looks up top for Jackson. Jackson hands it off to Ed Mead. Ed Mead, a couple ball screens. Working against Butler, steps in, drives with the right hand, underneath the basket, scoops it off, and it's going to be knocked out of bounds, and it will be Norfolk State basketball. Good team defense that time by the Spartans. Good switch off the pick and roll. Got the turnover. As Norfolk State will bring the ball into the front court, looking to tie with a two, take the lead with a three. As Whitley and the Spartans face man-to-man -man defense as he has it up top now. Whitley drives with the right hand, and he'll get called for the offensive foul. Again, that's it. You, could look, you could look at Willie and see he's in attack mode, but just have to be a little uh, less aggressive, I guess, on that, on those drives. As Ant, he's going to have that help defense as well. It's a second team foul, second straight offensive foul, as the ball is knocked out of bounds by Nick Thomas out of the hands of Langley. The basketball is going to stay with Ant. Two turnovers for both teams. As Ed Mead kicks it off to Langley. Langley. Into the front court, in between the circles, the Spartans still in the man-to-man. -man. Langley calling for a ball screen, gets it. Kicks off to Jackson, Jackson off to Edme. He spots up three on the way for him, no good. Jameson pulls down the rebound quickly off to Thomas. Thomas up to Pitt, Pitt back to Thomas. Thomas into the lane, scoops it back to Whitley. Whitley fires a three for the lead, short. Rebound, pulled down to Gantz. Gantz quickly into the front court. Gantz steps into a 15-foot on the way up, no good. Butler comes down, clears the board for the Spartans. Butler quickly off the pit, up the right-hand side of the floor, and pit into the front court. Spots up three on the way for him. It's up, and it's no good. Fowler comes down with the rebound. Both quickly teams, off. Both teams struggling so far. Yeah, it's the Spartans. One for five to start, two for five for North Carolina A&T. Langley with the ball screen drives. Gets into lane, puts out the glass, and the foul's going to be called against Pitt. As he got over a tad bit too late, that's the third team foul against the Spartans, and Langley will go to the free throw line for two shots. Yeah, Pitt just got, got, he just got caught on the switch. It was a good play by Langley to get that contact and going to the free throw line. Not a lot of ball movement early in the ball game for the Spartans, a lot of one passes and then shooting, or maybe just uh, no passes as Langley goes to the free throw line for two. Yeah, no passes at all. You just saw, just basically put your head down and going to the goal right now for the Spartans. As Langley puts the first free throw up in good. As our first substitution in for A&T, Nelson 
Wakey. We'll check in. Langley was uh, voted the third team preseason all MEAC. As he knocks in his second free throw in the Spartans. Now trail by four, six to two as the Spartans face some full court pressure. Pitt into the front court now. Working, driving with the left hand. Gets into the lane. Lays it up off the glass. No good, but a foul's going to be called. And Pitt's going to go to the free throw line for two. Good move by Pitt going left, using his body. I just showed you that weight room regimen as he uses his body and uh, gets the foul. It's going to the free throw line. Malik Gantz picks up the foul. That's his first team's first, and Pitt will go to the free throw line for two shots. 16-15 left to go here in the first half. Pitt at the line for his first. It's up. It's good. Pitt the seven points and two assists against Central on Saturday. As Pitt toes the line for a second. It is up and good. Two for two from the Stadi. And the lead is two for the Aggies. Six to four, 16, 10 left to go. Here in the first half as Langley will bring the ball into the front court. He's picked up by Jamerson. The Spartans still in the man-to-man -man as Ed Mead has it left wing. Gantz with it in between the circles. Calls for a ball screen, gets it. Steps inside with the right hand. Scoops it off into the lane. His Nimweka, his shot's blocked by Butler who comes down with the board. Butler again who leads the Spartans in blocks. Pushes it off to Whitley. Whitley to Pitt. Whitley gets it off to Thomas. Thomas on the drive. Pulls up from the right hand elbow. Up and good of a tie. Man, it's a good play by, by Thomas. Also, to see, good to see Thomas hit a field goal as he did not hit one against North Carolina Central. Had four points, all came in from the free throw line. He's retired at six. Quick 4 0 spurt for the Spartans after a 4 0 run by the Aggies. Here's Gant. Ball screen coming, looks left wing for Ed Mead. Ed Mead looks to drive, gets into the lane, lays it up. His shot's blocked by Jamerson, and that's the way we'll go to the under 16 minute media timeout. The Spartans and Aggies tied at six. You're watching MEAC basketball on Flow Sports and the NSU Sports Network. Come in right after this one. Fifteen. Fifteen twenty-one remaining here in the first half. We're knotted up at six. As we welcome you back to Joe Eccles Hall, Norfolk State, and North Carolina AT knotted up here as we begin the play after the under 16 minute media timeout is Ed Mead, five to three, and he can't connect again. And we're gonna have a foul called on the rebound, and Wake Gate picks up his first as they push Jordan Butler. You know, it's almost like Norfolk State just battling themselves on the boards. There's three or four Spartans around the glass getting rebounds. Good sign to see so far early on. As Norfolk State will have the basketball. Full court pressure by the Aggies as Pitt will bring it into the front court. Guarded by Ed Mead. Pitt. Drives with the left hand, gets into the lane, bump, puts up the floater off the glass, no good. A lot of contact, no call. As Langley brings it into the front court. Langley gets it off to Jackson. Jackson swings it off to Langley. Langley in between the circle. Will reset for the Aggies. 13 on the shot clock. Langley ball screen, top of the key. Kicks up top to Jackson. Seven on the shot clock. He gets it to Edmead. 
Ed Mead swings it off to Langley. Langley into the corner, finds Jackson. With two on the shot clock, pulls up from seven. Up, no good. Rebound, far four. And Wake comes down with it, puts it up, no good. Whitley comes down with a rebound for the Spartans. Another good defensive possession by the Spartans. Here comes Pitt again. Pitt gets it off to Whitley. Whitley on the drive. He gets in the lane. He's high of the glass and good. Man, with the offhand, too. Whitley has been getting to the basket here lately and hasn't been able to finish those. Did a good job of finishing two in, tra in traffic here early. Here's Ed Mead with the Spartans taking an 8-6 lead. 14 minutes to go as Ed Mead kicks it off to Langley. History can't go. Butler clears another board. Quickly off to Thomas. Thomas swings it off to Whitley. Whitley steps in. Long three on the way for him. Way off. Rebound comes down into the hands of Gaines. Quickly into the front court. He kicks it off to Jackson. Jackson at the top of the key. Will swing it right side to Langley. Langley looks to work. Gets a ball screen. Drives the baseline. Puts up the floater. No good. Whitley comes down with the rebound. Gets it off to Thomas. Thomas with numbers. Kicks it off to Butler. He goes to the basket. He goes up and he's going to get his shot blocked. A lot of contact. No call. And back comes Gantz. Gantz kicks it off to Langley. Langley in the lane. Puts up the floater. No good. Rebound knocked out of bounds. Last touch by North Carolina a &T. Yeah, There was a lot of contact on Butler's layup, but the Spartans are con controlling the glass on the defensive end, getting almost every rebound. Copeland will check in now for a &T. Also in for Norfolk State is Alex Long. There's Norfolk State back into the front court. Thomas gets it off to Butler. Butler. Free throw line, looks inside for Alex Long. Long turns, puts up the hook shot. It's up and good. Way to get right in the game and get right into the flow as Long gets a nice turnaround in the paint. Alex uses his length there to get the shot and the Spartans their largest lead of the game at four, 10 to six. And Wake swings out to Jackson. Jackson's in B. Ed Mead gets a couple of ball screens, works on Alex Long, gets into the lane, puts it up off the glass short. Alex Long comes down with the rebound, quickly off to Whitley. The Spartans look to push. And Whitley gets into the lane with the right hand, lays it off the glass, and good. He's in attack mode, Ross. He's in attack mode tonight. You can see it in his eyes. Six points tonight for Whitley. The lead is 6, 12 to 6, with 12, 20 left to go here in the first half. Ed Mead quickly off to Jackson, Jackson to Copeland. The Spartans stay in the man-to-man. -man. As Gantz looks for a ball screen, gets in the lane, lays it up, no good. Another great foul comes down to Whitley. Whitley looks to push again. Here's Jameson, spots up, three in transition, spots up, shots up, it's good. Jameson picks up where he left off, and the Spartans now up by 9, 15 to 6. Just a matter of time when he gets it. His first touch, and he nails a three. Ed Mead back into the front court for the Aggies. He kicks off to Copeland. He'll try to answer for three cans. That's a good sign for the Aggies as Copeland has a score in the last two games. As the Spartans come back, leading now. By a score of 15 to nine, a six point lead for the Spartans is Whitley. Brings it to the front court, 11.30 left to go. In the first half, here's Whitley. As Butler to pop out, swings it off to Thomas, back to Whitley. Whitley, the 10 on the shot clock. Whitley's gonna get a ball screen and work here. Whitley gets a screen, top of the key. Picks up his dribble, looks inside to Butler. Nice feed on the baseline, jump shot up, doesn't go. Rebound, tapped into the hands of Jameson. Jameson gets it off to Thomas. He spots up three on the way for him. Got him. He's fouled. Thomas hits the three. He'll go to the free throw line for one when we come back from this timeout. 11.08 left to go here in the first half. Norfolk State leading 18 to 9. We'll take a timeout on the court. You're watching me at basketball on Flow Sports and the NSU Sports Network. Thought it was a better side. <laughs> yeah. Let it go. Who's a foul? Man. I think it was uh they don't have 34. No, 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 Gantz not in. 22. Huh? Gantz got one. 33. Has won one. Ed Mead picked up a foul. Ed Mead. Yeah.
Hey, how much longer is on this one? Okay. Nick Thomas knocks in the free throws. We welcome you back to Joe Fussall. Dorfick State leading in North Carolina AT now by 10, 19 to 9 as Ed Mead picked up that foul before we went to break. And Ed Mead has the basketball in his hands now. Sparks in the man-to-man -man as Ed Mead looks to drive the left-hand baseline cut off by Whitley. He gets it off to Copeland. Copeland on the drive. Pulls up, fadeaway jump shot from the right-hand elbow. Doesn't go. Rebound. Comes down to Waco. He kicks it out to Ed Mead. He gets it back to Copeland. He fires a three. No good. Rebound. Pulled away by the Spartans as C.J. Kelly came down with it. He's into the game for the first time. Kelly with the left wing. Swings it off to Whitley. Whitley high post to Long. Long pulls up from 15. It's up. No good. Rebound pulled away by Copeland. Copeland into the front court. We're back at Joe Ecclesall, 31-16. He just scored Norfolk State with the lead. a t with the basketball as Chavis checks in for the first time for the Spartans as Norfolk State with 14 on the shot clock in the 2-3 zone against the Aggies. As the ball is swung off to Harris, he fires a three from the left side. This time doesn't go. Rebound knocked out of bounds by Whitley. It will stay a t basketball. And a quick shot by Harris. But fortunately for a t they get the ball back under, their, under the basket. A T will trigger the inbound. His inbounds pass comes to Copeland. Spartans stay in the 2-3 zone. Whitley and Jamison on the wings up top. Chavis and Thomas. Spartans talking in this zone right now, doing a good job of communicating with 3.20 left to go here in the first half. Here's Harry. Top, Harris, top of the key, drives in, puts up a floater from the free throw line to short. Jamison skies for the board for the Spartans. He kicks it off to Whitley quickly. Whitley drives with the right hand, gets into lane, scoops it off to Chavis. Chavis off to Thomas, left wing. Thomas on the drive, leaves the handle of the basketball out of bounds. Turnover number four for the Spartans. As Gantz checks back in for Ed Mead. Three minutes to go here in the first half. The Spartans leading by 15, 31 to 16. Back quickly comes Gantz. Gantz gets it off to Ed Mead. The Spartans stay in the man-to-man -man now. As, excuse me, Langley has it. Left wing. Langley looks for a ball screen. Gets into the lane. Lays off the glass. I'm good. Good play by Langley. This Spartans just didn't get over in time on the switch. As Langley gets a layup for two. As Whitley back into the front court for the Spartans guarded by Langley. Whitley. Working gets it off to Butler. Butler, high post. Puts it back door, finds Thomas. Thomas with up and under layup with the left hand, puts it up and good. And he's fouled. He's in double digits with 11. It's a big to guard as you, Thomas cuts through the lane, gets the left hand layup. Gets the foul. He's going to the free throw line. You know, Butler does so many things, Ross. He can score, he can rebound, he can pass. So he had 10, 10 points, five rebounds against a FMU, uh, FAMU a few days ago. As Clay Copeland gets up the foul, as Thomas knocks in the free throw, he now has 12 points in the Spartans. Lead by 16, 34 to 18. Langley back into the front court with 2.10 left to go here in the first half. The ball swung around the perimeter to Gantz. Spartans in the man-to-man -man switching. All over the floor is Gantz. Goes behind his back. Good defense. He kicks off to Harris. Harris might have taken an extra step. Gets it off to Langley. Langley in the lane. And the fouls will be called on his way up. And Langley will go to the free throw line for two. Again, just a little too late on that switch. I'm going to call the foul on Whitley. We tried to get position, but it was just a little too slow. It's actually the second on Jamerson. Sorry, Jamerson. And Langley goes back to the free throw line where he's two of two. Spartans lead 34 18, 154 left to go here in the first half over North Carolina AT. The first free throw by Langley is up and good. Five of five from the free throw line for the Aggies as 
Langley now has five points. Jameson takes a seat. Three points on one of two shooting for Jameson. As the second free throw is no good, Jordan Butler clears another board for the Spartans. That's his fourth. Whitley quickly to the front court. Working off to Chavis. Chavis. Hands it off to Thomas. Thomas, 13 on the shot clock. Looks to work. Pulls up three, top of the key on the way up. No good. Rebound snatched away. As Andre Jackson checks in. That rebound was pulled down by Ronald Jackson. That quickly comes Langley. He gets into the lane, lays off the glass, and good. No one picked him up. No one picked him up. That's good body control by Langley. And the, lead, and the lead is now 13 for Norfolk State as Whitley back into the front court. Gets a ball screen, top of the key. Kicks it off to Kelly. Kelly inside for Butler. Butler working on Langley, kicks it back to Whitley. Whitley in the corner to Chavis. He fires a three on the way up. No good air ball. Rebound pulled down by Langley quickly to the front court. Kicks it off to Jackson. He spots up three on the way for him. No good. Rebound tip. C.J. Kelly pulls it down. Kelly into the front court with the right hand. Goes to the basket. Goes to the basket. Lays it up with the right hand. And good. C.J. with his first two. After 19 points against North Carolina Central. A big layup on the break there. It looked like it was going to rim off. But he put enough English on there to go in. It's hard to take a timeout. With 42.2 seconds to go. And Coach... Joyner not happy about the way that went, but again, if you're North Carolina AT, you're seeing the Spartans shoot 14 to 33 from the floor for 42%. They're 7 of 32 from the floor, 2 of 12 from downtown. When they struggle to win ball games, they don't hit shots, and they're struggling right now to put the ball in the back. But credit Norfolk State defense, getting every rebound for, for the most part, playing great team defense, and they're just having a tough time putting the ball in the hole. Norfolk State 3 of 12 from downtown, 2 of 4 from Nick Thomas. Whitley 0 for 3, but he is 6 of 11 from the floor. 12 points, right, 6 rebounds, 2 assists. 5 assists on 14 made baskets. There's been a lot of one-on-one -on -one stuff, but if you're Norfolk State, it's getting to the basket and the, the seas have sort of parted. That's a little bit as Langley will bring the ball into the front court. He's picked up by Chavis. Chavis in between the circles looks off for Harris. Harris. Back to Edmead, left wing. Here's Langley. Ball screen coming. Langley with 14 on the shot clock. Gets it off to Terry Harris. He travels probably. Picks up his dribble. And gets it back to Edmead with seven on the shot clock. Edmead, a couple of ball screens. Gets into the lane. Kicks it back at Chavis. is the only person available. Chavis goes to the basket with the right hand. Euro step lays it up off the glass and good. Great open floor play by Chavis with the Euro step. And back quickly comes Langley. Langley into the lane, lays it up off the glass, and offensive foul is going to be called on Langley as Butler was stationary, and Langley picks up his second. Swiss Army knife and Butler does it all. And the Spartans now lead by 17, their largest lead of the night, 38-21. 1.2 left to go here in the first half, and I think the Spartans... We'll just dribble it out, and that'll do it for the first half of the first half where the Spartans go 15 to 34 from the floor. Hold North Carolina AT to 7 of 32, and the Spartans will take a 17-point lead into the break. You're listening to NSU Basketball and MEAC Basketball on Flow Sports and NSU Sports. <laughs> yeah. I mean,
Hello and welcome back to Joe Eccles Hall. 38-21 is your score. Norfolk State leading in North Carolina A&T by seven, excuse me, by 17 here on Flow Sports. Ross Gordon, Wu Bay, Gray here at halftime. And it's just been an energy-filled first half for Norfolk State as everything on both ends of the floor looks like look like the Spartans are a little bit more bouncier. Uh, they're quicker to the basketball than A&T, and they're playing a little bit faster than the Aggies are right now. And a couple of defensive lapses where the Spartans have gotten easy layups and they've finished around the basket. A couple three-point plays have been the difference. It's contagious, Ross. I mean, when your best players are diving on the floor, getting rebounds, hitting shots, feeding off the crowd, that's what brings the energy, and that's what, that's what puts you ahead um, in this first half as they're up, what, 17? 38-21 as we look at it. Cameron Langley leads a and in scoring. He's two for six from the floor. He has seven points, three or four from the free throw line. Three points for Harris. Copeland with three. Two apiece for Ronald Jackson and Malik Ganson. Four for Ibrahim Salah. And again, it's just, it's, it's been an interesting first half for Norfolk State offensively. They've gotten up 34 shots. They made 15 of them. They've turned the ball over four times. They forced seven turnovers. They've scored eight points off of those seven turnovers. But I think the big thing for Norfolk State, if, you, if you're just doing the math, they're doing a good job of turning those live ball turnovers into the points. Yeah, I mean, Whitley is in attack mode. Nick Thomas is doing his thing on the, uh, on the, on the game. Two for four from three. So when you have that, you know, balanced scoring, two, you know, both of them have 12 points. Jeff Pitt, who has a bucket. Jamison hit his only three. But, um, you know, you, you spread the wealth and you play good defense, you play with energy, and this is why you're going to have a 17-point lead. Exactly right. The Spartans, again, led by Nick Thomas and Stephen Whitley, both with 12 points on tonight, two steals for Nick. He has both of the steals for the Spartans. Three blocks tonight for Norfolk State. Jamison with one, Butler with one and one for Nick Thomas. Uh, five assists, two of them come from Stephen Whitley, who's had an all-around great four game. 12.6 rebounds, two assists tonight for the Spartans. He played all 20 minutes. Yeah, I mean, you look, you look at, you look at Whitley again. He's, he's just in attack mode. Just playing. You know, he played 20 minutes, 12 points. What do you have? Uh, what? Six rebounds. I mean, you know, you look at it. He's just having a balanced game. Six for 11 from the field. Hasn't hit a three yet, but. Again, attack mode, going to the goal, putting his head down and using what that nickname is known for, and that's Diesel, and he's getting his, getting his points. We'll take a timeout. When we come back, we'll have more right here on the NSU Sports Network and Flow Hoops. He's down there. Tobias. He's got the yellow head on. Oh, okay, I see him. Hello, and welcome back to Jericho's Hall. Halftime here as the Spartans lead 38-21 over the Aggies of North Carolina A&T. Ross Gordon, Blue Bay Gabray courtside here at Joe Eccles Hall as we uh, see the announcing of 104 student athletes who made the president's honor roll. So congratulations to these uh, young men and women for their success not only on the field and play, but also in the classroom. We're so excited about what they are doing 
uh, to keep uh, not only their grades up, but also the athletic profile here at Norfolk State up as well. I think people forget they do go to class two and they excel in the classroom to be able to play their respective sport. They have to do well in the classroom and you've seen them being honored tonight. It's always a good thing for Norfolk State. You see this moment right here as Marty Miller, the athletics director of Norfolk State, uh, uh, shakes the hand and gets the get their hand together as they take one final picture together as well as the Spartans uh, looking here in the first half trying to continue their their good play just I think one big thing for them they have to continue to bring up the energy in the second half I think that's one big thing for the Spartans just keep that energy keep that energy shots are going to fall they have so many weapons on the offensive end so just keep the energy and, uh, and play good team defense and keep uh, moving the ball, and they should be fine in the second half. That's right. We'll take a timeout and come back after this break. The Spartans lead 38-21 on MEAC. You're watching MEAC basketball on Flow Hoops and the NSU Sports Network. Hey, is that the baseball coach behind you? Welcome back to Joe Eccles Hall here on the campus of Norfolk State University as the score at halftime is Norfolk State leading North Carolina a and 38 to 21 as we welcome in a young man not, not a stranger to either school North Carolina a and or Norfolk State the head baseball coach here at Norfolk State he goes by the name of Keith Shoemate his season just underway here uh, recently had some ups and downs early in the season which you which you see a lot in, in uh in a game in a game where it's not normally played in the cold but you get up and down weather coach shoemate uh, it's good to get get the guys back on the field and get them going oh yeah we're, we're glad to get going and uh, uh we have a really good squad uh, we have a couple injuries we want to get cleaned up right before uh you know the, the real thing starts uh but we did open up this weekend at uh, jmu and uh fell short on the scoreboard but uh you know we ran five six freshmen out there and uh, they did really well, and uh, just real, real uh, glad to get going. Just uh, would like to have something above 35 to 40 degrees. <laughs> you know, that's that's rough weather on, on the, that visitor turf. So uh, we, we talked a little bit about your team. Uh, you're led by a young man who set out last year. Uh, well, played a little bit, but probably one of the best hitters that in, after his career is over, you'll probably see in Ashland Womack. Talk a little about him. Well, he's just an outstanding young man. Uh, forget about the baseball part of it. I mean, he's just a real, uh, you know, just a model citizen. And uh, more than anything else, uh, he's a, he's feared in the batter's box. And he put up some numbers as a freshman. Uh, people are going to come after him a different way. And uh, I think he's prepared for that. He, You know, we try to adjust before the season. He does a great job. It's, this guy could hit when he got here. And the uh, biggest thing I do for him is write his name in the lineup and uh, pat him on the back and uh, he goes out there and he, he came out this weekend and just really uh, you know ball came off his bat nice and uh, got did a lot of damage this weekend 8 of 14 to be exact I haven't had numbers like that even in softball games uh, so that's not that's not a bad way to go and uh, he was uh, he was uh, acknowledging the Virginia pilot uh, because of his bloodline but it's all him 
Oh, yes. Yeah, they're two different type of players. He, he wouldn't be where he's at today without his mom and dad. And everybody knows dad is a, uh, a former major league player and it's had a great influence on him. And, uh, I, you know, I like for his dad to be his hitting coach and do the things they've done their whole life. And uh, but this is a different uh, different player. This is a young man that uh, he swings the bat, got a little more got a little more power than, than dad had. Dad had a little more speed. Uh, but uh, the, co the, the uh, thing that you see between both of them is just the competitive fire, and, and that's what I like the most about uh, this young man. Everybody knows you have to pitch as well, and uh, we have a, a, a deep pitching staff but still one trying to prove themselves. Talk to me about your pitchers. We're young, but I, I think we are, uh, we're, we'll are we have as good a uh, depth as uh, we've had here in, in quite a while. And uh, like I say, we've, you know, we've had some legendary arms here at Norfolk State, but uh, I really like the depth, especially the bullpen uh, that we had to play without last year. We, we feel like we're deep in our pen, and that's going to help our starters not have to go out there and, and do quite as much. So I think it's going to be a team built on defense. Hey, Coach, uh, it's, it's very interesting. I've um, followed you for a long time, even when you were at North Carolina a &T. Uh, the one thing I like about about you is you've had guys who are big, and I like to call them country strong, and they can hit the ball a country mile. And it seems like you're getting those guys in there. Yeah, we've, uh, you know, we, we, we like players that can play no matter what size, but uh, we feel like we needed to be a little bit more physical with the way the game's going and uh, to give us every edge. So we, we like speed, but we also like power mixed in with it. So uh, we've got some guys, if they can get 10, 12 games under their, their belt, uh, I think you're going to see some some awesome, uh, you know, power hitting, especially in the big ballpark that we play in. Uh, quickly, I know we got to let you go, but Coach, uh, we're playing a tough Northern Division, and that's our goal to win the Northern Division first and then hopefully a MEAC title down the stretch. Uh, how do you think we'll fare in the MEAC, especially in Northern Virginia? I think we're going to cause trouble for people. You never, you know, only, only a a silly person makes predictions uh, but I can tell you we're gonna cause trouble for people um, if we stay healthy uh, I would hate to play uh, the NSU baseball team I just wouldn't want to mess with them hey I'm very thankful that you're here you've done a good job picking up right where Claudel Clark left uh, left off so done such a great job yes. for him and his time after Marty Miller so we thank you for uh, stepping in and being the new coach and we appreciate you and thank uh, you appreciate you having me and that's coach Keith to make the head baseball coach at Norfolk State University follow him and make sure you follow the Spartans this year as we take this final time out and come back with the second half right here on flow sports and the NSU sports network Hey, just this one, and we'll come right back. You ready? Welcome back to Joe Eccles Hall, Norfolk State, and North Carolina a &T doing a battle here in the MEAC uh, contest. Number one versus number two, the Spartans lead 38-21 as we get set for the second half. The Spartans will have the basketball quickly. Wu Bay, what, do, what does Norfolk State have to do to keep this going? Keep the energy raw. I mean, they're doing a great job of just playing within themselves, not, not doing too much, just hitting shots they normally hit, playing their game. And if they do that, Ross, they, they will be fine, not only tonight, but the rest of the season. I love the atmosphere here at Joe Eppers Hall. It's been a great the weekend for basketball. Uh, the, last true, the last true two games, Saturday and Monday, here at Joe Eppers Hall. It's been a great weekend as the next few games will be broken up. Um, Saturday, they'll be at Morgan State. They'll come back on the second, but then they're on the road on that next Monday. And then they will turn home for the final game of the season versus Howard on Thursday. As Norfolk State will have the basketball, Whitley, Pitt, Butler, Jamerson, and Thomas to start. Ed Mead, Gantz, Langley, Jackson, and Fowler on the floor for a &T. With the basketball, here is Jamerson, top of the key, right wing for Whitley. Whitley explodes the basket with the left hand, gets it off to Butler. Butler. Gets his man in there, puts it off the glass and good, and he's fouled. Again, the penetration by Whitley in attack mode. Sees Butler down low, and Butler puts it in and gets the foul. Silent picks up his third. As Norfolk State now up by 19, 40 to 21. 
And the Spartans getting whatever they want, especially driving to the basket, which is huge. You're right. Every, anything they want from the penetration, just getting in the hole. And that, and that time, he had a uh, uh, Willie had an opportunity to either score or dish it off. And he dished it off to Butler. As Butler's free throw rims off, the Spartans will pick up three-quarter court now as Langley has it, swings it off to Ed Mead. Ed Mead has three seconds to get it across the timeline. One second now. And Greg's it just in time. Ed Mead steps through, and he's going to be fouled. Foul's going to go against Nick Thomas. That's his second. And Thomas sort of knew it. It's a good trap. Ed Mead split it. Well, he, and yeah, was fouled. He acknowledged he made the foul, but it was a good trap as they extended a little further, closer to half court. As Langley will get the inbound, bringing it to the front court, swing it off to Ed Mead left wing. Ed Mead struggled to shoot in the ball here in the first half. He has it, swings the left side to Jackson. Jackson looking inside, can't get it there. Here's Ed Mead. He gets into the lane. He loses it on the way up. Ball's going to be stolen away by Jamerson. As it's poked away by Whitley, who has it now into the front court. Into the front court, he hands it off to Thomas. Three on the way for Nick. It's up. It's no good. In and out. Rebound comes down to Langley. He leads Jackson. Jackson's going to get the ball poked away from behind, but a foul's going to be called on Thomas, who quickly picks up his third. Yeah. Good seat foul by Jackson as he got open. And Thomas committed his third foul. As Jameson will check out. Also, Alex Long will check in. Nick Thomas. Nick Thomas will take a seat as he picks up his third. C.J. Kelly checked in for Jameson. They're going to call it on the floor. Good job there. As Coach Jordan not excited about the call, they call it on the floor. So a &T will inbound, out of bounds. As the Aggies send in Amari Hamilton for the first time. Hamilton has it right wing. He gets it off to Jackson. Jackson back to Hamilton. He fires a three. He knocks it in. Quick, quick substitution. Hamilton hits a huge three. The senior from Durham. In his first action as the Spartans now will face his own. Pitt gets it off to C.J. Kelly. Back to Pitt left wing. Pitt off to Kelly in the corner. He tries to answer for three. Can't do it. Uh, air ball. Rebound. Pulled down by... Jackson quickly off. Here's Hamilton. Hamilton, another three. Same spot. Can he hit it? Nope. Rebound. Fought for. Peeled away by Jackson. Jackson gets the ball poked away from him. Underneath the basket. Lays it up with the right hand and in. Good. Kind of lost it and got it back. Jackson got it. Kept his footing and put it in the layup and got a two for the Aggies. A quick 5 nothing spurt for the Aggies. Makes it a 14-point lead. 40-26. Whitley with the basketball off to Alex Long, right wing. Here's Pitt. Pitt gets a ball screen, gets into the lane. With the right hand, puts up the floater, no good. Whitley stops with a rebound, gets into the lane. Puts up the floater with the right hand, it's up and good. Whitley just, again, you know, he drives to the goal, he dishes, and now he gets inside the paint with a, with a little turnaround jumper. Back comes Langley. Langley gets off to Jackson, back to Langley. Langley in between the circles, trailing by 16. And the Aggies 42 to 26. It's Hamilton left wing. Hamilton gets picked up by Jordan Butler, drives with the left hand, gets in the lane, gets a shot blocked by Alex Long. Rebound comes down to Whitley. Whitley looks off for Kelly. Kelly into lane, and an offensive foul is going to be called on Kelly. Langley took the charge. And that will be the first team foul. Actually, third team foul on the Spartans is Kelly takes the seat. The first on C.J. Kelly as Jameson checks it back in. Well, Kelly was a little bit out of control. As Langley had good position, and he uh, got the charge call. As the Aggies will have the basketball trailing by 16, 42, 26, 17, 15 left to go here. In the second half, as Langley brings the ball to the front court, kicks it off to Ronald Jackson. Jackson off to Hamilton. Hamilton back to Langley. Ball screen coming as Jackson swings it back to Hamilton. Hamilton on the drive. Gets the ball poked away from him. Into the hands of Ronald Jackson. Jackson off to Amari Hamilton. Here's Langley. That's not a foul. And they're going to call a foul against Mastati Pitt, who picks up his third. Pitt did a great job of sliding his feet. No contact. 
As Keontae Chavis will check in for Pitt and picks up his third. Terry Harris will check in for the Aggies. Hamilton give him a little spark. You know, he scored 40 points in the last three games. Didn't play in the first half as Jackson gets the inbounds from Gantz. Gantz gets it back and now will roll left side. Gantz calling for a ball screen. Doesn't use it. Pushes off. Pulls up from 17. Nothing good. Good push off by Gantz. He's getting an open jumper. He's been pretty quiet. He's only has four, what, four points so far in the game. Whitley will bring it into the front court. Hands it off to Jamison. Jamison to Chavis. Chavis back to Whitley. Whitley steps in, gets it off to Butler. Butler goes to the basket, lays off the glass and good. Butler gets some space down that on that end line. Thought he was fouled, but he gets the two. As Hamilton comes into the front court, spots up three on the way. He knocks in another one. Yeah, like I said, Hamilton giving him a spark off the bench. Like you said, Roth didn't play in the first half, but he's coming in the second half firing. Had two threes so far. Spartans being outscored by four here in the second half, 10 to six. Led by Hamilton, six points on two three-pointers. He's two of three from downtown. Here's Alex Long, gets in the corner to Whitley. He'll drive the baseline, gets it to Lane, puts it up off the glass, no good. Rebound comes down to Terry Harris, he'll push. Quickly off to Hamilton. Hamilton, three in transition, no good, might have been blocked. Rebound comes down to Jamison. Quickly off to Chavis. Chavis to Jamison. Jamison drives with right hand, kicks it off to Whitley. Whitley in the long, long underneath the basket. Goes up for the shot. He's going to be fouled with 15, 35 left to go. In the second half, we'll take a timeout on the floor. As the Spartans lead by 13, a and trying to make a comeback. As Jackson picks up his first foul, we'll take a timeout on the court. You're watching MEAC basketball on Flow Hoops and the, on the NSU Sports Network. Fifteen thirty-five left to go here in the second half. Norfolk State leading North Carolina A&T 44-31. Here from Joe Eccles Hall in Norfolk, Virginia, as Alex Long toes the line for two after the foul called on Ronald Jackson. That was his first. Alex back at the free throw line where he's one of three tonight. Puts the front end up and good. Six points tonight for Alex. He'll have one more shot from the free throw line. As the Spartans' lead is now 14, 45-31. Very solid player for the Spartans, averaging eight and a half a game and four and, and four and a half uh, rebounds a game for the Spartans. Both are good for Alex as a and will be guarded full court as Langley gets into the front court to Gantz. Gantz quickly into the front court, spins his way to the free throw line, misses the shot, rebound comes down to Butler. Butler quickly off to Whitley. Whitley will bring it into the front court, kicks it off to Jameson. Jamerson looking inside for long. Gets the ball kicked out of bounds by Gantz. You know, they've had so many different players on Jamerson. They, they know he's a key to the Spartans offense. Hasn't had a chance to get it going so far in this game. As Norfolk State goes inside for Alex Long. He tries a right-hand shot over his left shoulder. Shot doesn't go. Rebound fought for by Butler and Harris. It trickles down to Hamilton. Hamilton gets it off to Langley. Langley. Working right side against Chavis. Gets it to Lane. 
Shot's going to be blocked out of bounds with a foul's going to be called. It's going to go against Chavis. That's his first. And we'll see two more free throws coming from Cam Langley, who is three of four from the charity strike. He led the Aggies in scoring in the first half with seven points. Still leads the Aggies in scoring. As he goes to the free throw line, looking to cut into his 15-point deficit, and he can as he misses the first free throw short. He'll have one more. Langley, the sophomore from Greensboro. He's, he's 12th in the nation in assists. As he puts the second free throw up, and good. Eight points tonight for Langley as the Spartans now lead by 14, 46-32. Whitley back into the front court. Facing the 2-3 zone as he goes right side for Chavis. Chavis off the long in the corner. Long back to Whitley. Whitley to Jameson. Jameson swings it off to Chavis. Chavis on the drive. Scoops it out to Whitley. Whitley working against Harris. Picks up his dribble and lose the handle of the basketball. It's going to be stolen away by the Aggies. Going to the basket. Here's Jackson. He'll slam it home for two. Good pass by Langley. Saw Jackson running off the side. Give him a good pass and a good, good finish by Jackson. Lead is 12, trying to make it 15 is Jameson, and he knocks down another one. He's got six, and the Spartans back up 49-34. Timeout taken by Norfolk State, a full timeout, as the Spartans lead down 49-34. Timeout taken on the floor. We'll take it with them. You're watching MEAC Basketball on Flow Sports and the NSU Sports Network. a little bit. All of the games in the, on tonight's MEAC schedule in the second half. The Savannah State leading Bethune-Cookman 68-58. Fort a and leading South Carolina State 40-34. North Carolina Central trailing Howard by 354-51. to 58, 51. Is that one uh, just beginning in the second half as we're back to Norfolk, Virginia. North Carolina A&T trailing Norfolk State. 49-34 is Hamilton. Into the front court, double team, loses the ball out of bounds. Last touch by Whitley. Good trap there in the corner by the Spartans. And Hamilton will inbound, or actually the Aggies will inbound on the sideline. The 20 on the shot clock. As inbounds comes to Hamilton, the Spartans will move into a 2-3 zone. As Langley looks off for Gantz. Gantz swings around to Hamilton. Hamilton thought about the three as Langley has it. Swings it back to Gantz. He steps in. Ball poked out of bounds. Last touch by Jamerson. Gantz almost got. Well, he did get away with the travel. With three on the shot clock now for the Aggies. As Langley will trigger the inbound. Inbound pass comes to Hamilton. Hamilton fires it too. It's up good. Like I said, he's been the spark for the Aggies in this second half. at eight points off the bench. As Chavis lost him a little bit as the Spartans now lead by 13, 49, 36, 13, 35 left to go here in the second half. Whitley with the basketball. Whitley looks for a ball screen, drives with right hand, kicks it off to Chavis in the corner. 
Up top to Long. Long into the lane. Get the shot. Swatted out of bounds by Jackson. Well, good help defense by Jackson. He's watching Long the whole way when they drive. And swats it in about, what, the fifth row. As Long will trigger the inbound. Gets it in to Butler. Butler to Whitley with eight on the shot clock. Whitley to Jameson. Open for three. Spots up. Shots up. It's good. One of the prettiest jumpers I've seen in a long time, Ross. Every time he puts it up, it looks like it's, looks like it's going in. As Gantz into the front court quickly for the Aggies. Working against Whitley. Swings off to Hamilton. Jameson with six in the second half. And the Spartans now back up by 16, 52, 46. With the basketball, here's Langley. Thought about the three, kicks off to Hamilton. He fires the three, might have been blocked by Chavis. Rebound comes down to Butler. And back quickly comes Whitley. Whitley into the front court, head full of steam, gets into the lane. We get the ball poked away by Gantz. Gantz into the front court. Looks off for Jackson. Jackson gets the ball poked away from him. It comes back up with it, and he's going to be fouled. As he goes up for the shot, Jackson goes to the free throw line for two. Great initial defense. But Jackson got it back somehow, and he gets fouled. Alex will pick up his second, and that'll put Jackson at the free throw line for two. He has not been to the free throw line tonight. And again, maybe Whitley might be a little bit tired here. Yeah, he's been playing with a full, like you said, full head of steam most of the game. Jackson will toe the line for two. He averages seven on the year. He has six points tonight. All on dunks here tonight, I believe, yeah. as well. <laughs> he toes the line, spins the ball once, one dribble, spins it again, puts the first free throw up, and he calmly knocks it in. Seven for Jackson as Whitley takes a seat. Into the ball game is Joe Bryant. You know, on Saturday, Jackson hit two clutch free throws to beat Howard. So he's at the free throw line now, shooting two. His lead is 15 as he makes both free throws now. The lead is 14, eight points for Jackson. The Spartans lead 52-38. 12 minutes, 30 seconds remaining here in the second half as Chavis has it. Facing his own, gets it off the long. Long, right-hand elbow, drives, gets into the lane, spins, puts it off the glass, and good. That's a good spin, good spacing as well. It's a good move by Long as he gets it in for two. With the basketball. Here is Langley. Langley swings it off to Hamilton. Hamilton has had the hot hand for the Aggies. He looks off left wing for Lyons. Lyons inside for Jackson. Jackson back out for Lyons. Lyons turns. Spins in the lane. Runs into his own man who picks it off to Gantz. Gantz on the drive. Gets into lane, up and under layup, no good. And the offensive foul is going to be called on Langley. Great job there. Check that lines with the foul. And with 11.49 left to go here in the second half, a timeout is going to be taken on the floor. With the Spartans leading by 16, 54, 38. We'll take that timeout with them. You're watching MEAC basketball on Flow Sports and the NSU Sports Network. Yeah. Somebody was smoking at the back door. Yeah, I smoked, yeah. Yeah. 
Welcome back to Jericho's Hall in Norfolk, Virginia. Norfolk State leading the Aggies of North Carolina A&T 54-38. Spartans will have the basketball as Joe Bryant brings it into the front court, looks off for Chavis. Spartans right now facing his own as Butler has it underneath the basket. Turns in the lane, gets it stripped as he goes up. Comes down with the rebound, powers it up. Again, lays out the glass, no good. Rebound pulled down by Jackson. Yeah, Butler had a few options on that play. He had a chance to put it in really quickly, but took his time and got the... Didn't get, to get, get a chance to put it in. Copeland gets it off to Langley, the Spartans. And the man-to-man. -man, as Langley has it. Looks off for Hamilton working left wing. Hamilton looking inside for Jackson. Can't get it there. Nice job there fronting by Alex Long. 16 fouls though for Norfolk State is Copeland. Gets in the lane, loses the basketball. Knocked out of bounds. Last touch by Norfolk State. Excuse me, by North Carolina a &T. It will be Norfolk State basketball. And before we went to break, Ross, it was Joe Bryant getting that charge. As Bryant will bring the ball to the front court, gets it off to Jameson. Jameson gets it off to Bryant. Bryant gets the ball screen, right hand, pulls up, right hand elbow, jump shot up. No good, rebound into the hands of Copeland. Copeland leads Hamilton. Hamilton will set it up, gets it off to Langley. 10.40 left to go in the 16-point ball game, 54-38, Norfolk State with the lead. Hamilton with the basketball, left wing. Fires a long three on the way up, no good. Joe Bryant clears the rebound. And Bryant doing the little things as he just came into the game. Bryant, double team. Kicks it off to Alex Long. Long lifts the drive. Kicks it back. Wide open. Jameson. Three on the way for him. It's short. Rebound comes down to Alex Long. He turns, goes up. His shot's blocked. Rebound comes down into the hands of Lyons. Lyons goes behind his back, loses it on the way up. Copeland. He finds Hamilton. He fires a two. No good. Rebound comes down to Lyons, and Lyons puts it up and in. Yeah, good tip by Lyons. On his initial move, he lost it and kicked it over for a three, but gets the rebound and puts it in. Bryant with the basketball. Norfolk State now leading by 14, 54 to 40. Here's Bryant. Steps in. Thought about the two and kicks it off to Butler. Butler inside for Alex Long. Long working his way into Jackson. Kicks it off to Chavis. He's open. Three on the way short. Rebound comes down into the hands of Copeland. Quickly off to Hamilton. No numbers for the Aggies as the tip by Lyons isn't good, but a foul's going to be called against Chavis. Yeah, Chavis a little down on himself after missing the three. Didn't get back on defense. And was caught sleeping and got called for the foul. That's the 17 foul. It should be a one and one. For the Aggies and it should be one and one for Lions. As Whitley Thomas and Branch check in for the Spartans. Butler, Bryant, and Chavis take a seat. 14-point lead for Norfolk State. Just under 10 minutes to go here, 54-40. Lines the lefty, puts the front end of the free throw up. No good. Armani Branch comes down with the board, gets it off to Stephen Whitley. Whitley into the front court. Gets, in, gets into the lane, puts it up off the glass, misses it strong. Rebound comes down. Into the hands of Silas. Norfolk State leading by 14, 54, 40. Ain't T with shoot free throws as this game gets down close as the ball swung out to Hamilton. Hamilton Alliance. Ham Lions into lane, lays it up off the glass and good. Well, he used his, his size on that one. He had Thomas that was defending him and he went, took him down to the goal and, and put it in. A 12 point lead for. The Spartans down 54-42. Whitley off to Thomas. Thomas to Long. Long off to Branch. Branch curls. Gets it off to Long. Long goes to the basket. And he'll slam it down with his right hand. Oh, good pass by Branch. It came over him on the double team. Left Long wide open. And he put a thunderous duck down. Back comes the Aggies. His silent lane. Lays it up off the glass. No good. Rebound. Comes down to Alex Long. who's pushed over by Silent. No call. No and call. Ooh. Back comes Norfolk State. Whitley. He was fouled. Foul's going to go against Hamilton. No call on Long. Well, they call it on, on Whitley. And they foul called down to San see who gets that foul. It's going to go against Hamilton. That's his first. Just a 14 foul. As then Wake checks in for Salah. Salah's had an interesting ball game. Four points for him. He leads the team in scoring. Around nine per game. 
Whitley gets it off to Alex Long, left hand elbow. Long, jabs that, gets it inside to Langley. Langley gets it off to Hamilton. He dribbles into the drums. It's been that kind of night for North Carolina A&T. Yeah. The Spartans lead by 14, 56, 42. 8 11 left to go here in the second half. Hamilton, don't know if he was suspended in the first half or what. He didn't play in the first half, but he's been. He's got the green light. And he's had. Well, he's been a catalyst for A&T staying in this ball game. Absolutely. Trailing by 14. He has eight points all in the second half. Here's Alex Long. Long. Picks up his dribble, gets it off to Whitley. Whitley lobs it to Alex Long, and he'll slam it down on you. Great execution that time on the screen. Long slips and gets the alley-oop dunk. And the Spartans now back up by 16, 58, 42. With the basketball here is Langley. He gets it off to Hamilton. He's blanketed by Whitley. Hamilton working right side, guarded by Long. He swings it off. Ooh to Langley. Langley off to Copeland in the corner. He fires the three up. No good. Rebound tapped into the hands of Van Wake. He gets it off to Langley. Excuse me, Hamilton. He fires the three. No good. Rebound comes down to Thomas. Thomas will slow it down as Thomas gets it off to Whitley. Whitley to Thomas. He gets inside for Armani Branch. Branch is going to be called for offensive foul. Uh, it looked like a flop to me, Ross. Might have been a flop, but if you're Branch, you just got to be a little smarter than Absolutely. that. As it's a smaller guy. He's going to fall. Yeah. As the Spartans with 7.07 left to go, we'll see Armani Branch pick up his first foul, and we'll take a timeout. As the Spartans beat 58-42, we'll take this timeout on the floor with them. You're watching me act basketball on Flow Sports and the NSU Sports Network. of the Philadelphia 76ers um, shown on the big screen here again we told you earlier his brother Terry Harris plays for the Aggies good to see him support his brother on his all-star break yep had a pretty good first what couple games in Philly already yeah you know was traded uh, before the deadline to a very good 76ers team and he's added a lot to that ball club is Langley. Rolls the ball into the front court. Seven minutes to go here in the second half. Langley gets a ball screen, tries to get to the basket. Steps back, floaters on the way up. No good. Branch comes down with the rebound. Quickly off to Whitley. Whitley into the front court. Kicks off the branch. He fires a three, top of the key on the way for him. It's up and good. Got, got the charge call on the other end, but makes up for it with a huge three. And the lefty puts the Spartans up. Back comes Langley with the floater. He puts it up and good, and he's fouled. Langley in double figures, he has 10. And Jamerson gets hit with his third foul. You know, we were talk just talking about NBA basketball. Looks like Langley got an NBA continuation on that one. But it's a good move by Langley. He puts it in. 61-44, your score. Terry Harris will check into the bell game. They replace Lions. 14 points, 8 rebounds, 8 assists tonight for Stephen Whitley. As Langley puts the free throw up and good. Langley's been steady for them tonight. 
He's got he's got 11. The only Aggie in double figures is the Spartans now lead again by 16. As Jameson swings it off to Thomas, back to Whitley left wing. Whitley off to Branch. Branch kicks it off to Thomas. He's open in the corner for three on the way up. No good long. Langley pulls down the board for the Aggies. Langley into the front court, kicks off to Hamilton. Hamilton off to Terry Harris. He thought about the three. Now gets it inside for Jackson. Jackson working against Long. Kicks it back to Harris. He fires a three. Shots up short over the backboard. Basketball going over to the Spartans. A lot of pressure. Yeah. <laughs> that kid's under now that you show his brother on the big screen. Absolutely. That's Coach, unfortunate. And coaching puts him right in. You know, he's a grad transfer from Eastern Michigan. So he uh, he adds a, a lot to this team, though. It helps him out a lot with, uh, with his leadership. But just wasn't able to hit that open shot. Here's Whitley with the basketball. In between the circles as the Spartans look to run some offense here. Whitley top of the key. Calls for a ball screen with 13 on the shot clock. Whitley with the right-hand dribble. Looks underneath, gets it into Branch. Branch turns, puts it up his left hand, shoulder up and good. And for Whitley, that's his ninth assist. And for Branch, he's got five straight for the Spartans. You know, Branch on a little versatility, hitting the three and then going down low. Here's Hamilton. He fires the three from the corner. Doesn't go. Branch comes down with the board. Kickley off to Whitley. Whitley into the front court, goes to the basket, kicks off the long. Long lays off the glass and good. Whitley now with 10 assists. Long with 15 points to lead the way for the Spartans and now lead by 20. 65-45 with 5.15 left to go here in the second half. But just the way Long's been running the floor tonight, catching oops, follow, filling lanes, doing a good job. Here's Langley. They run a few ball screens. Langley drives to the basket, lays off the glass, and good. Over the uh, stretched arm of Long. Not much you can do there. Whitley no. played good defense. Langley just threw that one up. He has 13 points to the pace. The Aggies tonight. Whitley. With the basketball, kicks it off to Branch. Branch inside for Long. Long lays it up with the right hand and good. He's got 17, tried to dunk it there, but lost it on the way up, but he put it up in the end, and the Spartans now lead by 20 again, 67-47. Great night for the 6'6 senior from Clinton, Maryland. Doing it all tonight. Here's Langley working on Whitley. As he gets it in, and the ball's going to be knocked away as Copeland was looking for Harris in the corner. I mean, Ross, we talked about energy. What about Branch coming in, hitting a few shots, playing good defense, getting rebounds? As Copeland comes back in, he kicks off to Harris. He runs his man off the spot, fives to three. This one's going to be no good. Rebound knocked out of bounds, last touch by A&T. Good fake by Harris. This one's going to hit this shot. Got Thomas to, to shift his feet. Back quickly. Here's Thomas. Quick three in transition. No good. Rebound tip to Alex Wong. The foul's going to be called as Jamerson picks up his fourth. And we'll see free throws coming for the Aggies. No, it's a good sign, though, Ross. And the Jamerson only was nine. You know, Thomas does have 12, but you know, we're spreading the wealth tonight. And it's good to see when if Jameis is not on exactly his A game, I should say, then the Spartans still able to have a 20-point lead at this point. Well, he came and knocked in two big threes as he did. Harris puts the first free throw up and good. He's got four points tonight. He stopped a little momentum as well for the for the uh, the Aggies. They had some some momentum going, and if Jameis had two threes, well, they've been throwing fresh bodies at him all night. Maybe they try to wear him down. Second free throw is good for Harris. As the Spartans now will face full court pressure, Thomas brings the ball to the front court, gets it off to Whitley. Whitley will hold, needing two rebounds for a triple-double. Whitley has 10 assists as he drives to the basket with the right hand, and a foul is going to be called. It's going to go against Langley. That's the 15 foul against the Aggies. And that's the way we'll go to the under- Four-minute media timeout. The Spartans leading by 18, 67-40. Now, we'll take a timeout on the court. You're listening to NSU Basketball and NEAC Basketball on Flow Sports and the NSU Sports Network.
6749, your scores. We welcome you back to Norfolk, Virginia. Joe Ecclesall. The Spartans with the lead and the basketball as Whitley gets it off to Thomas. Thomas drives his left hand, gets it back to Whitley. He thought about the three. Now we'll slow it down. Running some clock here with the right hand, gets into the lane, kicks it out to Alex Long. Long two on the way for Alex. It's up, no good. Rebound comes down to Langley. Langley trying to lead his man. Ball tip. The starting pitch tries to save it inbounds, but it hits the it hits the sideline, or baseline, excuse me. Basketball going over to, uh, it's going to stay with North Carolina a and Good makeup defense by Pitt. I mean, I'm sorry, and Thomas. Almost playing like a DB back there in football. As Hamilton again knocks down another one. He's had a big second half. He's got 11. And the lead is now cut to 15, 67, 52. With 3.20 left to go here in the second half. Alex Long with the basketball. Goes, kicks it off to Branch, and Branch will slam it down with two. This time Long on the assist action here as he gets a nice bounce pass to Branch for the dunk. As Hamilton quickly into the front court, gets it off to Koblin. Koblin dribbles through traffic. Still with it, still dribbling. Looks off for Jackson. Jackson will drive the baseline. Gets into the lane. Nice defense there by Whitley. And Whitley forces the errant shot. Branch comes down with the rebound. And will get it off to Whitley, who will push it into the front court. Yeah, I love what Branch is doing tonight. Just bringing energy. Couple dunks. Hit a three. Getting rebounds. Doing the, uh, the dirty work, so to speak. He's got seven points. As Pitt has it. Pitt top of the key. Drives with the right hand. Cut off. Steps back. Swings off to Whitley. Whitley inside for Long. Long turns underneath the basket. Finds Thomas in the corner. Four in the shot clock. Thomas kicks it off to Branch on the foul. It's going to be called on Nick Thomas. It's going to be a charge called on Nick. That's his fourth. Tough call for Thomas. Got a good drive to the lane. Try to kick it out to Branch, but it was too late. Good defense by Jackson as he, as he calls the, uh, the charge. Leading score tonight, Alex Long. 17 points. He has seven rebounds. We'll take a seat. Nice dike for Alex off the bench. He's paced the Spartans. And that's been a different kind of look for Norfolk State. When you can bring a big off the bench yep. like Alex, who can put in 17 points. He's been huge tonight for the Spartans as Norfolk State leads by 17. Yeah, definitely, definitely a luxury to bring in Long off the bench. And we're going to have uh, over, we have a backcourt violation called against the Aggies. As Branch will inbound to Pitt. Pitt will bring it into the front court. Again, the Spartans will run offense now with 2.05 left to go here in the second half. Leading by 17, 69, 52. Here's Armani Branch. Branch gets it off to Whitley. Thought about the three. And off the curl, he'll find Thomas. Thomas off the pit. Pitt looking inside, drives with the right hand, gets into the lane, lays it off the glass and good. That's body control. Goes in for the layup, adjusts his body, hits it off the glass, gets a nice sweet two. Increases the Spartan lead to 19 as Langley into the front court. Loses it on the way up, stolen away by Whitley. Whitley on the break, gets it to Lane, lobs it up for Armani Branch, and he'll slam it home with the <laughs> What a play by the Diesel. Good floor game. And he gets a nice alley oop to Branch. And a foul's gonna be called on Whitley just to slow things down. Not a bad foul there. With 125 left to go. As Whitley, with his 11th assist, will take a seat. Clear the bench here, Ross. As B.J. Fitzgerald. Joe Bryant will get set to check in. As they can't sub until the second shot. Langley will go to the free throw line. You can't... Uh, can't doubt the fight in this young man, Cameron Langley. He's got 13 points, five of, four of nine shooting, five of seven from the free throw line. He has six rebounds and five assists. As Langley puts the first free throw up and good. Again, he had to score tonight. He, he, he's one of the best uh, assist leaders in the nation, but he had to score tonight. Like you said, he has 14 points to pace uh, the Aggies. As Langley goes to the free throw line with 125 left. As Whitley will stay in. As Langley puts the free throw up, it's a short. As the rebound trickles down to Butler. Butler tried to let Whitley get it. Two rebound shot with a triple double. Whitley gets into the lane, loses it, puts it up off the glass, no good, but a foul's gonna be called. He'll go to the free throw line. 
Be nice to see Willie get a triple double. I know he's not thinking about that, but I think he is now. I think, I think Coach he is. Jones. Then they might have, someone might have told yeah. him. <laughs> I think Coach Jones told him. Again, Ross, the atmosphere tonight was amazing, and of course Saturday was amazing as well. It's good to see them fans come out and support this great Spartan squad having a good year. Whitley at the free throw line, looking to make it a 21-point ball game, and he can't as he misses the first free throw. Butler takes a seat. Kelly replaces Butler. Thomas takes a seat as well. The Spartans leaving about 20, 73-53. The second free throw is up and good for Whitley. I think Whitley set the tone early. Just getting those quick buckets down the uh, in the first half, going downhill. I think he had a you know, big impact in this game. Coblin swings it off to Hamilton. Hamilton fives to three. It's something good. Well, and, and on the Aggie side, Hamilton was the key for them off the bench. Didn't play in the first half. As Bryant brings it into the front court. As he dribbles in between the circles, the Spartans leading by 18, 74, 56. Finds Fitzgerald, right wing. He drives the baseline. Cut off, pulls up, fadeaway jump shot on the way for him. It's something good. Oh, what a move by Fitzgerald. Good to see him come in the game and get a Get a nice two through the legs, fade away. And the Spartans now up by 20 with 36 seconds to go. Hamilton. The drive with the left hand. Goes between his legs, gets it off to Copeland. Copeland, top of the key, drives, gets into the lane, kicks it off. Trying to slam it on. Oh. Chris Ford was Jackson. And the foul's going to be called on Ford. Oh, that was all ball, bro. That was all ball. And Ford will get the foul. Ford not sure about the foul. As Jackson goes to the free throw line for two. 22.9 seconds to go. Jackson. Puts the front end up and it's good. Nine for Jackson. He's had a solid night. Oh yeah, Jackson has had a great night as well. Nine points, active on the boards as well, very athletic. And tease, Jackson at the line for a second. It's something good. Ronald Jackson now in double figures, he has 10, he takes a seat. And Stephen Whitley will inbound to Joe Bryant. With the Spartans leading by 18, 76, 58. Joe Bryant will dribble it out. Peter and the Spartans will put two games in front of themselves and the second place team, the North Carolina Anti Aggies, with a convincing 18 point victory here tonight. And the Spartans will be moved to 11 and 1 in conference, play 16 and 11. Overall, we'll take the timeout to look at NSU basketball and NSU Sports Network. Mortgage lender. Sure, his impact in the game will develop as things move on, starting with a block, and that's just what this kid does very quickly. Tells the official that he got ball. You see the first meaningful play in the game by Batadze, and he doesn't do things. Jackson takes 